Step into the quiet majesty of our natural world, where every leaf whispers a story of balance and beauty. Yet amidst this serenity lurks a silent menace invasive plants. These interlopers arriving from distant shores upset the delicate dance of ecosystems. Devoid of natural checks in their new habitats, they spread voraciously, altering landscapes and imperiling native flora and fauna. Their rapid growth, prolific seeding, and ruthless competition undermine the very fabric of our wilderness. Join us on a journey to uncover the secrets of these stealthy invaders as we explore their impact across diverse ecosystems. But before we delve into details, if you're interested in learning more about invasive animal species, visit our channel and watch Nature's Uninvited Guests, a looming threat documentary. You can find the link in the description below. Giant Salvinia, a fast-growing fern native to South America, has become a major invasive threat to waterways globally, from Asia and Australia to the United States. It smothers aquatic ecosystems with dense mats, outcompeting native plants and reducing biodiversity. This aggressive invader can double its coverage in just seven days. Imagine a football field covered in giant salvinia in a week. It could easily become two. These mats disrupt water flow, alter nutrient cycles, and severely degrade water quality. Fortunately, there's a natural solution, the salvinia weevil. This tiny beetle, also native to South America, specializes in feeding on giant salvinia when introduced to infested areas, salvinia weevils can effectively control the fern's population. Their voracious appetite damages the plants, hindering their growth and causing the dense mats to decompose. This eco-friendly and controlled approach helps restore a healthy balance to aquatic ecosystems. Its tall, square stems and vibrant purple flower spikes make purple loosestrife a striking sight in wetlands. Originally from Europe and Asia, this invasive plant was introduced to North America for ornamental and medicinal purposes. It quickly outcompetes native plants, forms dense stands, and alters crucial wetland habitats. Efforts to manage purple loosestrife include the use of biological control agents like the Gallerusula beetle, which feeds on its leaves and flowers, helping to reduce its spread and impact on wetland ecosystems. Phragmites australis, known as common reed, is one of the most widely distributed flowering plants. Its native range is extensive spanning from the Arctic to equatorial regions and south to Tasmania and South America. While its exact native range is debated, it is generally considered native to Europe and the Canary Islands, with introduced populations in Africa, Asia, the Americas, and Australia. Invasive strains of phragmites have spread rapidly, displacing native wetland plants and reducing habitat quality for wildlife. Its dense growth obstructs water flow and alters ecosystem functions. Research has identified over 140 insect species in Europe and Asia Minor that feed on phragmites, with 28 species recorded in North America. The most promising biocontrol candidate is the moth Arcanera geminipuncta, though it has not yet been implemented. Additionally, grass carp have shown some success in controlling phragmites by grazing on young shoots, particularly in fallow rice paddies in Japan. Introduced as an ornamental plant, Japanese knotweed has spread across Europe, North America, 
and other regions. Its bamboo-like stems and aggressive growth patterns enable it to form dense thickets that outcompete native vegetation, destabilize riverbanks, and reduce habitat quality for wildlife. There's hope. Aphalera itadori, a native insect, shows promise as a natural enemy for Japanese knotweed. Rigorous testing confirms it specifically targets the weed, offering a sustainable control method. Originally from China, Tree of Heaven was introduced to North America and Europe, where it has become a widespread invasive species. Its rapid growth and prolific seed production allow it to dominate forest understories and urban landscapes, displacing native vegetation and altering local ecosystems. Recent studies have focused on introducing the Tree of Heaven's natural predators, such as the Atlanthus webworm, Ateva punctella, and the Atlanthus weevil, Eucryptorhynchus branti. These insects specifically target the Tree of Heaven, feeding on its leaves and bark, thereby reducing its vigor and reproductive capacity. Native to Europe and Asia, spotted knapweed has invaded grasslands across North America, especially in the West. Its aggressive growth and allopathic chemicals suppress native plant species, reduce forage quality for livestock, and alter natural fire regimes. Recent studies focus on biocontrol methods, introducing natural predators like the napweed root weevil, Cyphicleanus acutes, and the napweed seed head, Fly urifora, aphenus. These insects specifically target spotted napweed, reducing its vigor and spread. Accidentally introduced from Asia, Myla minute weed has spread rapidly across the eastern United States. Its vine-like growth smothers native vegetation, disrupting grassland ecosystems and agricultural lands. Research has shown that mile a minute weed's aggressive nature is due to its rapid growth and high seed production. Efforts to manage its spread include the introduction of the mile a minute weevil, Rhinon comus latipes, a natural predator from its native range that feeds on its leaves and stems, reducing its impact on native plants. Water hyacinth is one of the world's most invasive plants, known for forming dense mats that cover water bodies, obstructing navigation, reducing oxygen levels, and impacting aquatic life. Originally from the Amazon basin, it has spread globally posing severe threats to ecosystems in Africa, Asia, and North America. To combat this invasive species, seven arthropods and three fungi have been developed and released as biocontrol agents. Notable examples include the Neocatina weevils, Neocatina bruci, and Neocatina icornia, which have achieved significant success in countries like the USA, Argentina, and India. These weevils damage the plant by feeding on the leaves and petioles, causing them to collapse and sink. Fungi such as Acrimonium zonatum and Circospora pieropi also play a crucial role in weakening the plants. In addition, the moth Nifagrapta alba guttulus has been effective in Sudan and the USA. In Africa, Ongoing research is focusing on developing mycoherbicides using fungal isolates to control water hyacinth more efficiently. Recent studies in 2024 have revealed groundbreaking insights into the genetic adaptability of invasive plants. Research from institutions like Stanford and Oxford has identified genetic traits that enable these species to thrive in diverse habitats, such as rapid growth and efficient resource use. Advancements in environmental DNA eDNA monitoring, developed by the Smithsonian Environmental Research Center and UC Berkeley, have revolutionized early detection of invasive species. By analyzing Edna from soil, water, 
or air samples, scientists can detect invasive plants before they become established. For example, eDNA techniques have successfully identified invasive aquatic plants like water thyme hydrilla verticillata and water chestnut troponatans in North American waters, allowing for rapid management responses. These advancements in genetic research and eDNA technology enhance our understanding and management of invasive plants, helping to protect native biodiversity and ecosystem health. Until next time, cherish the harmony of nature, for its future rests in our hands. Join us in the fight against invasive species by subscribing to our channel. Stay informed with our weekly content, featuring in-depth documentaries and the latest research on preserving our natural ecosystems. Together, we can make a difference. Click the subscribe button now, and don't forget to share this video to spread awareness.